If you have entertained the idea of day trading, you have probably heard of VWAP, short for Volume Weighted Average Price. VWAP is one of the most important benchmarks when looking at interday charts, graphically showcasing some of the most important aspects regarding a stock's movement in the short term. Providing traders with insight into both the trend and value of a security, VWAP is definitely a benchmark you want to know and understand as you step into trading. The goal of this indicator is relatively simple on the surface. Similar to moving averages, VWAP will reflect a bullish sentiment when prices are above the VWAP and bearish when prices are below. What makes it unique is that it takes into account volume or the amount of trading taking place, eliminating much of the noise that occurs throughout the day, helping traders gauge prices. At its root, the benchmark essentially helps you determine whether your entry point is good, confirming a trend and guiding you into any decision you make to buy or short. The volume weighted average price appears as a single line on interday charts, similar to how a moving average looks. However, these two indicators are calculating totally different things. VWAP is calculating the sum of a price multiplied by volume divided by total volume. This may sound confusing and makes no sense, but once you begin to piece the components together, everything will come together in your head. To fully understand what you are looking at, we are going to manually create our own VWAP. To start, we begin with the formula. I know you're getting ready to click on a different video, but I promise you the math is not very complicated. And if you can get through this part, you will have a much better understanding of one of the most important indicators when it comes to day trading. VWAP is nothing more than the dollars traded for every transaction, aka the price multiplied by the number of shares traded, and then dividing that number by the total shares traded. To calculate the benchmark yourself on an assumed 5 minute chart, you will first need to find the average price the stock traded at over the first 5 minute period of the day. You can do this by simply opening an Excel sheet, adding the high price in that period, the low price in that period, and the closing price in that period, then dividing that number by 3. Now take that number and multiply it by the volume or the number of shares traded within that 5 minute period. Now put that number in the column PV on your Excel sheet. Divide it by the volume again. Now this is your VVAP value. Congratulations! To maintain the VVAP value throughout the day, continue to add the PV value from each period to the prior values. Divide this total by the total volume up to that point. To make this easier in a spreadsheet, create columns for the cumulative PV and the cumulative volume. Both these cumulative values are divided by each other to produce the VWAP. Thankfully for you, any decent trading platform will have VWAP benchmarks that do this all for you. No need for this painstaking math. But understanding this math will help you realize the strengths and weaknesses of this benchmark. VWAP is a single day indicator and it's restarted at the open of each new trading day. Attempting to create an average VWAP over many days could mean that the average becomes distorted from the true VWAP reading as described above. Fair warning though, while some institutions may prefer to buy when the price of a security is below the VWAP or sell when it's above, VWAP is not the only factor to consider. In strong uptrends, the price may continue to move higher for many days without dropping below the VWAP at all or occasionally. Therefore, waiting for the price to fall below VWAP could mean a missed opportunity if prices are rising quickly. Also, due to the nature of the math, VWAP is very dynamic moving up and down in the beginning of the day, while towards the end it becomes more smoothed out as the volume total increases. Many traders love to use it in the first few hours of trading, abandoning the benchmark in the afternoon.